Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. I'm here today with another baseball game, Stratomatic Advanced Baseball Card and Dice. And today we're going to do the 1947 Boston Braves against the 1947 Chicago Cubs. In 1947, the Braves were 86 and 68 and in third place in the National League. And the Cubs were 69 and 85 and finished in sixth place in the league. And the Cubs, as you can see, we are playing in Wrigley Field. The Cubs will be home. The starting pitchers for today's game are going to be the, um, the uh, Boston Braves are sending up Johnny Sane. And the Cubs will be sending up Johnny Schmitz, the left-hander. So um, we will go down the lineups as we get to the teams. And that means first doing the Boston Braves of 1947, who will line up as Johnny Hop at center field in the leadoff spot, Tommy Holmes in right field batting second, Earl Torgerson will be the first baseman, batting third. Bob Elliott will be the third baseman and batting in the cleanup spot. Phil Massey will do the catching today, and he will bat fifth. Bama Roll will play left field. Connie Ryan will be the second baseman, batting seventh. Batting eighth will be Dick Color the shortstop and batting in the ninth spot will be Johnny Sane and he is a five batter as a pitcher. And so with that lineup having been said and the, the fact that Schmitz is done with his warm-up tosses, we will get on with the game. Now we're playing in Chicago, so Wrigley Field in 1947. That is a single one to 16 for left-handed hitters and a one to four single for right-handed hitters. And for home runs, it's a one for left-handed hitters and a one to five for right-handed hitters. So with all of that out of the way, let's get on with this and Johnny Hop, the first batter stepping in. And he gets a 5-10 and he is a lefty on lefty. And that is going to be a ground ball to the third base X, the third baseman. Uh, for the uh, for the Cubs is Low Peanuts Lowry and he is a four so we will uh, and, and it's a roll of 18 so we'll check that out on the charts and an 18 four at third base is a ground ball C so he is out so he goes five to three and uh, that brings up Tommy Holmes. Tommy Holmes gets a 3-5. He is uh, going against a left-handed uh, pitcher here. So uh, that is going to be a single. Tommy Holmes gets a board with a hit. There's one down. And uh, Schmidt's giving up the hit. Earl Torgerson is the batter. And he gets a 6-7 left-handed batter. And that is going to be a single. And it's a single 1-15. to So it's a, it's a split decision single. Which means the batter has to stop at second base. Two runners on. One out. And Bob Elliott is the batter for the Braves. And he gets a 1-9, and against a left-handed batter that or pitcher, that's going to be a single double asterisk. And Schmitz is in big trouble already right here. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Elliott gets a single, knocks in a run, and puts another guy on third base. 3 hits and an earned run and Phil Massey is the the catcher is the next batter. 
He gets a 310 against a left-handed pitcher. That is going to be a ballpark single. And he rolled a 5, and he is a right-handed batter. So, let's see. One, It's 1-4, one to four and he just misses it. So, it is going to be a pop-out to third base. And that brings a bomber Raul with two down, runners at the corners, and 2-4 uh, against a left-handed pitcher is going to be another ballpark single, but he's a lefty, so let's see if that is better for him, and it certainly is. And that is going to be a single one asterisk with Knox in a run. That's the fourth hit given up by Schmitz in the second run, and Connie Ryan is up. Now, we should mention, I mean, Schmitz, in, it's not like he was really a slouch. In 1947, he was 13 and 18 with a 322 earned run average, and only allowed 209 hits in 207 innings. So here is Connie Ryan. They've almost batted around here. And that's a 6 7 for a righty, and that's going to be a walk. So the bases are now full. Connie Ryan with the walk. And that brings up Dick Color. Dick Color bases loaded, two down. Key batter here for Schmitz. And that is a 3 6. And he is going up against a lefty. And that is going to be a pop out to the shortstop. So uh, he they he get, Schmitz gets out of the inning, but he doesn't get out of the inning without giving up two runs to the Braves, who now you really got to think have definitely have the advantage. I mean, the Cubs were not nearly as good that year, but they're now down two nothing and showing why they weren't nearly as good that year. Um, so we will go to the. Um, the Cubs batting order. Now the Cubs batting order will be Eddie Waitkiss leading off and playing first base. Andy Pathko, the center fielder, bats second. Phil Cavaretta will play left field and bat third. Bill Nichols, Nicholson will uh, bat fourth and play right field. Peanuts Lowry will play third base. Bob Sheffing is the catcher, batting sixth. Batting seventh is Don Johnson, the second baseman, not the one that was on Miami Vice. And Lenny Marullo is going to bat eighth, and he is the shortstop. And, of course, in the ninth spot, if we get to him, is <laughs> Johnny Schmitz. But he may not even be in the game by the time his... Uh, he comes up in the batting order at this point. So uh, Eddie Waitkiss is going to be the leadoff hitter. And he gets a 4-6 and he is a lefty. And that is going to be a strikeout. So Waitkiss just uh, gets the big K from Sane. And Andy Pathko steps up. He gets a 1-9, and he is going to, uh, um, let's see, Sane is a righty, so that's a ground ball, shortstop A, so that's going to be 6-3. And Phil Cavaretta, the third bat, two down here, and that is a 3-5, and that is going to be a single to left. So the, the Cubs do have a base runner. That's the first hit allowed by Sane. And that brings up the power hitting Bill Nicholson. And they need a big one here. And uh, he is going to get a ground ball to first base instead. And that will be it for the Cubs. The Cubs get no runs in the uh, first inning. 
And that takes us to the top of the second. And uh, Johnny Sane is the batter. They did almost bat around in the first, but not quite. So here is Johnny Sane batting. And he is a right-handed batter, so he has a 6-5 on the righty side, and that's going to be, well, that's going to be a single. So, Sane, even Johnny Sane gets a single. That's just, is just not Schmitz's day. And Johnny Hop, back to the start of the order with Johnny Hop. And he gets a 6-8. And he is a left-hander, and that is going to be a strikeout. One away. Johnny Hop with the K, and that's the first strikeout for Schmitz, and it shows maybe that he's coming back to life here. Tommy Holmes gets a 1-9 against a lefty, and that is going to be a ground ball, shortstop, double play. So that is a 6-4-3, and... The uh, Cubs go very quickly in the second inning. And we go to the bottom of the second. The Cubs trying to get those two runs that uh, Schmitz gave up early. Trying to get those back at least here. Or at least start to cut into that deficit. And Peanuts Lowry will be the first batter to try to do that. He gets a 1-7 against a righty, and that's going to be a walk. Only thing in the column, and that's what it was. So he gets the walk. Peanuts Lowry is aboard. Now, nobody in this game really had a lot of speed on either team. Not a very not very speedy teams. Bob Sheffing is up, and he gets a 5-4 against a right-handed. Uh, um, he is a right-handed batter. 5-4 is going to be possible ballpark single and it looks like either way it's going to be um, he uh, yeah that's gonna be a single so Lowry goes to second Sheffing gets a base hit and Sane has given up his second hit of the game Runners at first and second with no outs and Don Johnson. And he gets a 212 against a right hander, and that's gonna be a walk, and the bases are loaded. Sane is in as much trouble as Schmitz got into in the first inning. And that brings up Lenny Marulo. Lenny, big Lenny, no outs. And that is a 411 for a right-handed batter, and that's going to be a fly ball left field X. The left fielder for the Braves is uh, Bomber Raul, and he is a left field three. Um, and then we will roll these two dice again. That's an 11, and that's going to be an E2. Two base air by Bomber Raul puts the um, Cubs right back in this. So, left field error. And uh, we're going to have to write that down. Error in the second inning by Bomber Raul. And uh, that brings up the pitcher, and the one thing that has, is going to save Schmitz here is he had a very clean second inning, and now his team is tied the game. So they're just going to let him hit. And he gets a 6-3. He is a left-handed batter. 6-3 on um, Sane's card is going to be a ground ball, second base, A. That will, um, that, let's see, that doesn't necessarily score the run, does it? Nope, runners hold. So the uh, runners hold, and he grounds out four to three, and that is only one out. <clears throat> and they're back to the top of the order with Eddie Waitkiss, and he gets a two five, and against a uh, right-handed 
pitcher, and that's going to be a single double asterisk, and now they're ahead. The Cubs are all of a sudden ahead in this game. Hit and uh, let's see, earned runs. We're gonna say that uh, Andy Pafko is up, and uh, Andy Pafko with two down, and um, and now a runner at first, and he gets a four-five. He is a right-handed batter against Sane, and that's going to be a fly ball to left. The old F7, but the Cubs come up with four runs of their own. That was easy. So uh, the Cubs got a, a four to two lead, and we go to the top of the third inning. And Earl Torgerson is the batter. They're, now the Braves are the ones that are behind and trying to get back into this. And that's going to be a 5-4. He is a left-handed batter. And that is going to be a catcher card X. That's a 20. We'll take a look at the chart. Uh, catcher, I guess, is on, the, on this side. Uh, catcher 20. And uh, that's going to be a pass ball. And followed by a foul out, so it is a foul out to the catcher. Foul out two. And um, Bob Elliott is the batter. That is a 211. 211 is. Um, that's a ballpark home run. Uh, but let's or wait a minute. That, well, it is. It's still a ballpark home run, and uh, that's a, that's a roll of four. And he is a right-handed batter, so that is going to be a home run. So Bob Elliott getting a home run. Schmitz gives up another hit and another run. And the score is now 4-3. to three. The, uh, the Cubs are leading 4-3 with Phil Massey. Again, no outs. That's a 2-4 against a left-handed um, uh, pitcher. Right? Yep. And that's going to be a ground ball C, second base. So that's a 4-3. And there's two down quickly, well, not really quickly, because there was a home run in the middle there. And now Bomber Wowell, who made a key error last inning, is the batter trying to atone for that. 6-7, he is a left-handed uh, batter, and or uh, batter, yes. And that is going to be a single. Bomber Wowell <clears throat> rips a hit. Seventh hit, I've got that being the seventh hit. Could be wrong, but Connie Ryan is up. He gets a 2-5, and a 2-5 against the lefty is a single to center field. And they are going to uh, hold him up because there's there's two down, and um, they, they do have a runner technically in scoring position anyway, so they're going to just hold there. Dick Culler is the batter. He gets a 4-11. He is a right-handed batter, and that is going to be a fly ball to right field, and he is out. F9, but the Cubs do get a run, and they make it 4-3 now. Very close game. Phil Cavaretta will be the batter now for the, um, for the Cubs here in the bottom of the third inning. And he gets a 5-8. 5-8, he's a left-handed batter. And that's going to be a fly ball center field. 
Next batter is Bill Nicholson. And he gets a 210, 210 um, against a righty. That's going to be a strikeout. I've got that as the second strikeout for Johnny Sane in this game. And Peanuts Lowry is up, and he gets a 210. And a 210 is going to be a double. Double to center field. Sane giving up. Uh, what I got is his fourth hit. That might be in slightly incorrect, but Sheffing is the batter. He gets a 411. He is a righty. That is a fly ball left field X. The left fielder for Boston is Bomarau, and he is going to be. He is a four. 17 and three at left field. And that is a fly ball A. And so that is the final out. Fly out um, to seven, Sheffing. And in the bottom of the third, after three innings complete, we have a 4 3 game. The Braves losing to the Cubs, 4 3. The Cubs, the home standing team, they are bringing up Schmitz to bat, and they will let him bat. He's still got the win right now. Or wait a minute. Hold on. No, this is Johnny Sane, and Johnny Sane is batting in the top of the fourth. Okay, and it is him. And he gets a 310, which is going to be a single. So uh, Johnny Sane is going to help his own cause here with a single. Schmidt's giving up his ninth hit already, and Johnny Hop is the batter. Johnny Hop with a 4-5. He is a left-handed batter. And um, let's see. That gets him a ground ball shortstop A. Or wait a minute. No, a fly ball left field B. A very big difference. One away, fly out, left field. That brings up Tommy Holmes. Tommy Holmes is the batter with one down, man at first. That is a 110 against a left-hander, and that is going to be a ballpark single. He is a lefty. Chicago lefty single, 1-16, to 16, so it is a single. Tommy Holmes with a hit, and Schmitz with his 10th hit allowed, and you got to think, I don't know if Schmitz is coming up next Inning. He might be. In fact, he probably is. But 4-6-4, uh, four, four, he is a lefty. So 6-4, left-handed batter is going to be a ground ball first base B. That'll move the runner to third. And the batter is safe at first. On the fielder's choice. And, or wait a minute. That's Torgerson. Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, that was Torgerson. All right. Torgerson on the fielder's choice. Right. And Bob Elliott is the batter. And that three, with two outs, and that's 3-8. He's going against the lefty. And that is going to be a line out to shortstop. Line out six. They don't get any runs. They came close. They came close to tying the game, but they didn't. They had runner. They left runners stranded at the corners. And Don Johnson is now the batter here in the bottom of the fourth. The home standing Cubs three two, and this is against a right hander, and that's going to be a single. So Don Johnson leading off with a hit. Fifth hit allowed by Sane. Lenny Marulo up. He gets a 3-8. 3-8 against a righty is going to be a pop out to short. And that does bring up Schmitz, and they're going to pinch hit for Schmitz. They wanted to keep him in so that he could try to get the win, but they figured that's not going to happen. <laughs> and Cliff Anderson as the pinch hitter.
Cliff Anderson pinch hitting for Schmidt here in the fourth with a man on and one out. And that is a 4-9. He is a righty. And uh, that is going to be a single. So Cliff, Cliff Aberson, not Anderson. Sorry, sorry I got that wrong for you people out there that might know that. Um, he gets a single. So uh, runners are at first and second. And Sane giving up a uh, sixth hit. Eddie Waite kisses up. The Cubs are really, the Cubs are showing themselves to be a lot better than they actually were. 4-8. He is a left-handed batter. And that's going to be a strikeout. Two away. Yeah, that was Waite kiss. That was the third strikeout for Sane. And Andy Pafko is up. Andy Pafko with a 2-8 and uh, against a right-hander, that is going to be a walk. So the bases are full with two down. And Phil Cabaretta. Phil Cabaretta gets a 112 and that is going to be a ground ball C to the first baseman. <clears throat> They're going to bring in Freddie Schmidt as opposed to Schmitz. <laughs> and he is a right handed pitcher. And Freddie Schmidt in 1947 was 5 and 8 with a 473 earned run average. So he's going to come in and he is a. Um, a batter one. So that is the same. Same batting ability, right? Let's see. Let me make sure here. Yep. Same batting ability as Schmitz, but this is Sh Freddie Schmidt. So let's write him in. Schmitz only goes four. He's going to leave with the lead, but the way he was pitching, they didn't think he would keep the lead very long, obviously. That brings us back to the Braves batting. And the uh, they will be leading off with, I believe, Phil Massey. Yep, Phil Massey is their leadoff batter here in the top of the fifth with them losing by a run. And he gets a 6-8. He's a right-handed batter. And uh, that is going to be a ground ball third base. So Phil Massey goes... Um, Five to three. There's one down. Bomber Raul is the batter. He gets a three nine. He is going against a right handed pitcher, and that's going to be a single. Bomber Raul with a hit. Schmidt giving up his first hit of the game. First base runner, first hit. Connie Ryan is the batter. He gets a 6-5. He is a right-handed batter. He gets a ground ball shortstop X. Uh, the shortstop for the Cubs is Marulo, and he is a 3. It's going to be a single one asterisk. So that is a base hit for Connie Ryan. One down. Runners at first and second. Dick Culler is the batter. He gets a 2-5 against a righty, and that's going to be a shortstop, ground ball shortstop A, and that will be a double play, 6-4-3, and uh, Schmidt gets out of the inning. We go to the bottom of the fifth in this 3-2 game. The Braves, the much better team in 1947 are losing by a run to the Cubs, who are at home. And Bill Nicholson will be the batter against Johnny Sane and Pray for Rain, 6-7. He is a lefty, so that's going to be a ground ball second base X. The second baseman for the, um, 
for the Boston Braves is Ryan, and he is a three ground ball, so he is out. Nicholson, Nicholson is out. Four to three here in the fifth, and that brings Peanuts Lowry up to the plate. He gets a 3-4 against a uh, righty, and that's going to be a pop-out shortstop. Which gives way to Sheffing, Bob Sheffing. And he gets an 11-5-11, a right-handed batter. And that is going to be a fly ball, right field X. The right fielder for Boston is Holmes, and he's a 3 Four, three, it is a double. So, chefing ripping a double. Gotta love that. Especially if you're a Cubs fan. Insane giving up his seventh, what I've got is his seventh hit. Could be wrong. Don Johnson is up. And three, eight. Three, eight is going to be against a right-hander. It's gonna be a line out to second base. And so the Cubs do go down there. They don't get a run. They came close again, but they did not get a run. We go to the top of the sixth. And in the top of the sixth, the leadoff batter is going to be Johnny Sane, and they're going to pinch hit for Johnny Sane because they've seen enough of Johnny Sane. He All right, to lead off the sixth, the pinch hitter is going for uh, Johnny Sane is going to be Frank McCormick. And he gets a 3-9 against a righty, and that's going to be an out. It's going to be a line out to third base. McCormick, line out five, and that brings up Johnny Hop with one down. <clears throat> and he gets a 2-2. Uh, two -two. That's going to be a second base shortstop, so he is out 4-3. Ground ball to the second baseman. And Holmes is the batter. He gets a 5-8. That's a lefty against a righty. That's going to be a ground ball second base X. Second baseman for the Cubs is um, Don Johnson. He is a 4. That is a single. That is indeed something. So Holmes gets a hit. Another hit allowed by Schmidt, but I got that as only his second one. And Earl Torgerson is the batter. Two down here. Three, five against a righty. That's going to be a walk. So now there's two runners on base. Schmidt looked like he might be in the clear, but then he just put on two, two, he put two people on here with two outs and Bob Elliott up at the plate. And he gets a 3-4, and that is going to be a ground ball shortstop A. So, no runs coming in for the Braves, who still need a run to tie the game. And they are going to take out their pinch hitter that they put in, which is Frank McCormick. is going to be Clyde Shown, and Clyde Shown is a batting one so we'll have to get a batting one card for him And we're going to the bottom of the sixth, where the batter for the uh, Cubs in the bottom of the sixth will be Marulo. Lenny Marulo is going to be the, uh, the batter. Against Clyde Shawn, who is now pitching for the, for the Braves. Sane went five. He gave up seven hits, uh, four runs, but um, they may have all been unearned or a good portion of them. 
Lenny Marulo is up. 6-12. Um, and he is a right-handed batter. That's going to be a ground ball second base X. The second baseman is a... Uh, for the Cubs is... Or for the, uh, for the Braves is a three. That's County Ryan. That is a five. Five and three is going to be an out. So that's four to three for Marulo here in the sixth. And right away, the, the, the pitcher spot is up, and that's Schmidt, Freddie Schmidt. But they're going to pinch hit for Freddie Schmidt. Stan Hack is going to pinch hit. He gets a 311. He is a left handed batter um, against Shown. 311 um, against a left handed pitcher. And that's going to be a ground ball shortstop A. So he is out. 6 to 3. And Eddie Waitkiss is the batter with two down and nobody on. And that is a 6-7 left-hander on left-hander, 6-7. And that is going to be a fly ball left field B. Wakeus is out. F7, no runs come in for the Cubs. And we have to go get the take the pinch hitter out, put in the relief pitcher for the Cubs. will be Russ Mears and he is a batting one so we'll have to get the batting one card for him place and um, and the Braves are up that means Phil Massey is the batter and that is a 3-8 and against a lefty that's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher He goes one to three. Bomber Raul is up with one down. And that is a four five for a lefty. That's gonna be a uh, that's gonna be a strikeout. First strikeout for Mears since coming on. And Connie Ryan. Connie Ryan gets a 3-8 against a lefty. And that's going to be a fly ball left field. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Bottom of the seventh for the Cubs. They'll send up Andy Pafko against Clyde Schaum. That is a 2-8, 2-8, and he is a right-handed batter. And that is going to be a double. So Pafko with a leadoff double. Shawn giving up the hit. That's the first hit he's allowed. Cavaretta is going to, um, he's going to bunt. So... Let's see here. All right, we're going to roll the dice on the bunt for him. And that is a seven. He's a bunting B. Batter is thrown out by first baseman. Runners advance one base. So now they got a runner at third. Cavaretta with a successful bunt. And the infield is going to come in now. 
with Bill Nicholson up. And he gets a 2-9. He is a lefty against batting against Shawn. Um, 2-9 against a left-handed pitcher. And that's going to be a strikeout. So Nicholson strikes out in a very key situation. The infield will now go back since there is no need for them to any longer be in. And Peanut Slowery is the batter with a, um, with a man just 90 feet away. And that is a 4-11. He is a righty against, um, yeah, he's a right-handed batter, 4-11. That is a ballpark homer. And he is a right-handed batter. And uh, Chicago home run right-handed batter one to five and it isn't it's a fly ball and so lowry flies out no runs come in although they did have a man 90 feet away they had someone knocking at the door knock knock knocking but did not get in and a 14 and a four is a ground ball c so the runner holds and there is two down now and <clears throat> he goes four to three with the infield in and Tommy Holmes is up and he gets a three seven against a um, against a lefty and that is going to be a single double asterisk and that's going to knock in a run and that is a tie game So that was Torgerson is up. And he gets a 3-9. And 3-9 against a lefty is going to be a strikeout. But it's a tie game. We got, got ourselves a barn burner here. Tie game with Bob Sheffing, the batter for the... Uh, um, for the Cubs against Shawn who has been pitching well and 3-9 he is a righty and against a lefty that's going to be a ground ball second base so he goes out 4-3 one away Don Johnson is up that's a 5-6 he is a righty, and that is a single. So, single for Don Johnson. And uh, Shawn with the hit allowed. Marulo is the batter. This is Lenny Marulo. He gets a 5 9. He's a righty. That is going to be a ground ball shortstop B, and so now he is on. And that brings up the pitcher. They will, of course, pinch hit for the pitcher right here. Ray Mack is the pinch hitter. And he gets a 1-7, which is going to be a ground ball shortstop A. And that is it. They were going all or nothing with Ray Mack, and it didn't work. And so now they have to bring in the uh, Cubs. will be bringing in a new pitcher. pitcher for the Cubs is going to be Emil Rush. batter card in there for him in the lineup and he's a batting four so they got a pretty good batter in him too The Cubs got no runs there, and we go to the top of the ninth where Bob Elliott is going to greet the new Cubs pitcher, Emil Rush. And he gets a 3-4. Emil Rush is a righty. 
So that is gonna be a ground ball shortstop A. That brings up Phil Massey, the catcher. He gets a 3-5 against a righty. And that's gonna be a ground ball shortstop A. And that brings up Bomber Raul, two down very quickly here. And that is a 6-8. He is a lefty, and that's going to be a ground ball first base. So the Braves go very quickly here in the ninth, which means if the Cubs can get a run here, they win the game. If they can't, <laughs> then we got some extra baseball. So uh, Eddie Waitkiss is going to lead off in the ninth inning here against Clyde Schaun, who has been pitching really well. 2-7. And that is going to be a um, fly ball center field. So Wade gets his out. Andy Pafko is up. He gets a 3-4. Three, 3-4 four. Three, four against a lefty it is going to be a foul out to the catcher. And that brings up Phil Cavaretta. Cavaretta gets a 5-6, and um, he is a left-handed batter, and 5-6 against a left-hander is going to be a single, because it was a 5 roll, and it was a 1-15 single. So Cavaretta with a hit, they have a base runner, and um, that brings up... Uh, Bill Nicholson. Bill Nicholson with a 4-7. He is a lefty. And that is going to be a uh, strikeout. Bill Nicholson strikes out. Shawn strikes the man out. No runs come in for the Cubs. We go to the top of the 10th. Really good game here. We've got Connie Ryan as the leadoff batter for the... Um, for the Braves. He gets a 4-8 against, um, our, and he is a right-handed batter. So that is going to be a walk. Connie Ryan with a walk. Rush walks a man. That's the first guy he's allowed on base. Dick Color comes up. He gets a 1-9 against a righty. That's going to be a ground ball shortstop double play. 6-4-3. Yep. And that brings John, um, that brings up the pitcher who is Clyde Shawn. And they will pinch hit for him because they definitely have to take him out anyway. He's pitched enough innings. Sibby Sisti is the pinch hitter. And he gets a 4-9, and he is a righty, and that's going to be a walk. So Sibby Sisti comes on as a pinch hitter, draws a walk in the 10th. Second guy that Rush is allowed on, and Johnny Hop is the batter. And he gets a 6-5. He is a left-handed left batter, and that's going to be a shortstop X. That's a roll of an 11, and the shortstop is a 3. We'll check it on the charts, and that is going to be on the air rating. That's a 10. 10 is a ground ball A. <laughs> so that is the uh, last out of the inning for the, um, for the Braves. As Hop goes 6-3. And uh, we will bring in the uh, pinch hitter card or the pitcher hitting card once we know who the pitcher is going. The new pitcher is going to be. All right, the new pitcher for the Braves will be Cy Johnson, and he'll face Peanuts Lowry to lead off here in the bottom of the tenth. And that is a five-seven. He is a righty against a righty. And that is going to be a single.
Peanuts Lowry leading off with a single. If the Cubs can get a run here off Johnson, they win the game. Red Sheffing is up. Yeah. And Red Sheffing today is two for four. And he gets a four seven. He is a righty. And that's going to be a ground ball shortstop A, which is a double play. And gives way to Don Johnson. And he gets a 2-6 against a righty, and that is going to be a pop-out to short. No runs come in for the uh, Cubs. We go to the top of the 11th inning. Top of the 11th, Tommy Holmes I've got as the batter, and he is going to face Emil, Emil Cush, not Rush. I had... I keep putting in the wrong names. I keep saying the wrong names. Emil Cush. So Tommy Holmes gets a 4-7. He is a lefty. And that is going to be a strikeout. Strikeout for Cush. Torgerson is up. One down. That is a 5-11. He is a left-handed batter. That's a fly ball right field X. That is a 17. And the left fielder is a 3. Uh, so let's see here. And that's going to be a fly ball A. So Torgerson is out. And, and Bob Elliott is up. 3-3, three, three, and he is going up against a left-hander, right? No, a right-hander. And that's going to be a, that's a ballpark single. So ballpark single for a righty is 1-4, um, to four, and it isn't. So he's out. Bob Elliott is out. And that will be a line out to short. No runs come in in the 11th for the Braves. We go to the bottom of the 11th. Again, the Cubs could win the game right here. If they can score a single run. Lenny Marullo is the batter. He gets a 1-7 um, against a righty. And that is going to be a single. And with the pitcher up, I don't know if they want to sacrifice right here. Because um, they don't, they're out of pinch, they're out of good pinch hitters. And in fact, he's a four batter, so they're just going to let him hit. They're going to let Cush hit, or yeah, Cush. Going to let him hit. 6 7, he is a right handed batter. So 6 7 is a ground ball, second base X. And he is a, their second baseman is a three. That is a six. So you got six and three at second base. Um, and that's going to be a double play. So that was a bad idea. Or wait a minute. No. And Eddie Wake kisses up with nobody on and two down. And that is a 4 8. He is a lefty. And that's going to be a pop out to first base. Yeah, this is the bottom of the 11th. I don't know why I was recording it in the uh, wrong 
anyway, but anyway, if we go to the top of the 12th, top of the 12th inning, this is a marathon here, and you got Phil Massey as the batter, and that's a 4-3, he is a right-handed batter. And that's going to be a ground ball first base X. The first baseman is Waitis, and he's a 1. And that is a 10. And that's going to, we have to look at his error rating. E10. So we will roll the dice. And that's a 9. And that will be a ground ball A. So Phil Massey grounds out. Ground out three. Bomber Rowell is up. He gets a 210 against a righty. And that's going to be a ground ball B. And uh, that is a ground ball to the pitcher. So that's going to be a one to three. And Connie Ryan is the batter. And he gets a 3-9 against a righty, and that's going to be a ground ball third base. 5-3. to three. Nothing comes across in the 12th. And so the Cubs again are in a position again where they could uh, potentially win the game. Andy Pafko is the batter. I've got that. Yep. 110 against a righty, and that's going to be a pop out short. Brings up Phil Cavaretta. He gets a 2 6. 2 6. Um, he's a lefty. That's going to be a fly ball center field. Nobody wants to win this game is really what's going on here and that brings up Bill Nicholson and he gets a 4-6 4-6 he's a lefty that is going to be a single so Bill Nicholson gets a hit to keep the Cubs hopes alive here and Peanuts Lowry is the batter and he gets a 1-9. He is going up against a righty, and that's a ground ball third base. No runs come in on the 12th. We're going to the 13th. We are going to the 13th inning, people. Can you just understand that for me for a minute? <laughs> and uh, Dick Culler. I've got Dick Culler as being the, the batter, and he is. But Emil Cush is going to come out of the game for a new pitcher. It'll be Bob Chipman. And Dick Culler is the batter against him. And he gets a 111. He's now going up against a lefty. And that's a foul out to third base. That brings up the pitcher, um, Cy Johnson, and they will pinch hit for him. In a new pinch hitter, he gets a 5-6. He's a right-handed batter. And that's going to be a ground ball shortstop. And back to the top of the order with Johnny Hop. And he gets a 6-6, six, six, and that is going to be a, uh, he's a lefty. That's going to be a ground ball first base. And we will have to take Litweiler out and put in another pitcher. Elliot will be the new pitcher for the Boston Braves. And he is a batter three. So we'll go get a batter three card for him.
But right now the Cubs are up with Bob Sheffing, and again they find themselves in a situation where they could win this game. Bottom of the 13th. Bob Sheffing, the batter. And that is a 5-2. He is a righty against a lefty. And that's going to be a ballpark home run. Um, he is a right-handed batter. Chicago right-handed batter. And that is not going to be a home run. It's going to be a fly ball to left field. Sheffing flies out to left. Don Johnson is the batter. That is a 6-7. He is a righty. And that's going to be a strikeout. And uh, Lenny Marulo. Lenny Marulo gets a 5-10. He is a righty. And that is going to be a ground ball shortstop X. The shortstop for the, the uh, Braves is a 2, and that is a 19. Uh, 19 and 2 is an out. So Marulo is out. Nothing in the 13th. We go to the top of the 14th inning. This is getting ridiculous now. It's bordering on ridiculous, so I'm just going to have to tell you. Um, Tommy Holmes is the batter. And that is a 3 3. Um, he is a lefty going up against, uh, or he is a, a left handed batter. 3 3 or three, 3 going up against a left handed pitcher. And that is going to be a single. So Tommy Holmes gets a leadoff single. Earl Torgerson, or Earl Torgerson is the batter. He gets a 2-8 against a left-handed pitcher. That's going to be a strikeout. Um, yeah, Bob Elliott is the batter now. He gets a 1-4. One 1-4 four. One four against a left-handed pitcher is a ground ball pitcher A. And so that's going to be um, a, a double play. One, four, three. No runs come in for the Braves in the 14th. The Cubs are now up. And the Cubs have Glenn um, Elliott batting. Or wait a minute. They have Bob Chipman. Bob Chipman batting. And he is a pitcher batting one. And they don't really want to lead off with him. They would like to lead off with somebody else. And so they will. Uh, but they're getting they're, both teams are really whittling their bench down to the point where they don't have any real good pinch hitters. Um, they're going to pinch hit Dom D'Alessandro. Dom D'Alessandro comes in to pinch hit for the Cubs here in the bottom of the 14th inning. And that is a 411. He is a lefty. Um, and that's going to be a fly ball left field X. The left fielder for the Braves is a 3, and that is a 15. We'll have to see what that is. Uh, 15 and 3 is a fly ball C. So he is out. The pinch hitter is out. Eddie Waitkiss is up. One down. That is a 6-6. Six, six. And he is a left-handed batter. That's going to be a walk. So Waitkiss gets a board. One down. And Andy Pafko is the batter. He gets a 1-7. And he's going up against a lefty. And that's going to be a fly ball center field B. So that's two down. Phil Cavaretta. 3-7. Against the lefty, that's a strikeout. So, no runs come in in the 14th inning. We go to the top of the 15th, where um, Massey is going to bat. Not against Chipman, because Chipman had to be pinch hit for. Weiss is going to be the new pitcher. Now they're starting into their 
their their starter relievers, guys that pitched a lot of innings, and he is a um, batter one, batter hitting one. So and Phil Massey is the batter. And he gets a 312. 312 against a righty is going to be a ground ball C. Bomber Rao. I'm not even keeping track anymore because I've ran I've run out of space. 210 against a righty, right? Yep. And that's going to be a ground ball B. And Connie Ryan is up. There's two down, nobody on. Four seven. That's going to be a walk. Man aboard, two down. And color is the batter. And that is a 5-5. Five, five. He is a right-handed batter. And that's going to be a ground ball shortstop. The shortstop for the Cubs is a 3. And that's a 4. So let's see what that is. Uh, it's a roll of 4. And it's going to be a single one asterisk. And that brings up, wouldn't you know it, the pitcher. And they don't have, you know what, he's a pitcher three, and they don't have any good pinch hitters left anyway. So, and that's a three nine, which was almost a walk, but it's a strikeout. Instead, it's a strikeout. The Braves get no runs in the 15th. We go to the bottom of the 15th with Bill Nicholson up. I'm getting tired here. <laughs> Uh, that is a 4-2. He is a lefty against um, against a lefty. 4-2 is a ground ball, second base, B. Right? Yeah. And then Peanuts Lowry is up with one down. And that's a 2-7 against a lefty. Yeah. And that's going to be a ground ball, A, to second base. And that's two down. And Sheffing is up 6 4. And that's going to be a ground ball third base X. The third baseman is a one. And that is a 13. And uh, that's going to have to go to, we're going to have to refer to the E rating. So Elliott's E rating is a 21. We'll roll the dice. We've got an 8, 21, 8 is ground ball A. So, uh, there was no runs there in the 16th, I think, for the, uh, for the Braves. And now we've got Sheffing batting again. Sheffing for the Cubs. Um, he gets a 2 7 against a lefty, and that's going to be a single. So Sheffing with a leadoff hit. Don Johnson gets a 1 7. That's a strikeout. Wait a minute. No, wait a minute. Nope. Against a lefty. Yeah, against a lefty, that's a single double asterisk. And now they've got now we've got something going here because there's runners at the corners with no outs, and the Braves have to bring the infield in. Marulo comes up. He's got a 3-8 against a lefty. That's a ground ball shortstop A. So that's gonna move the runner over to the second, I think. That's exactly what happens. So now there's one out. But the pitcher is up. What a time for the pitcher to come up for the Cubs. Um, they're going to pinch hit for him, obviously. And uh, he's going up against a lefty. So you don't want that guy pinch hitting. Don't really want him pinch hitting either. But there's a lot of guys you wouldn't want pinch hitting here.
Clyde McCullough is going to pinch hit with one down and runners at second and third. The Cubs with a chance to win the game. 2-6 is going to be a pop-out. What? What? No. <laughs> so there's two down. Infield goes back. Eddie Waite kisses up. He gets a 5-8, five, 5-8, eight, five, eight, a lefty. And that is going to be a ground ball second base X. The second baseman for the uh, Braves is a 3. And that is Connie Ryan. And that is a 16. 16 and 3 at second base is going to be in ground ball C. And that's it. And I am so damn tired right now. I don't even, I can't even see straight. We're going to the top of the 17th inning. This is craziness. Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, wherever McCullough is, he has to come out. And uh, the pitcher, we need a new pitcher for the Cubs. The Cubs is going to be Bill Lee. Not the Bill Lee that pitched for the Boston Red Sox. Not Spaceman, but a different one. And now we've got Johnny Hop. We're at the top of the order in the top of the 17th. And he gets a 4-5. He is a left-handed batter. 4-5 is going to be a... Um, it's going to be a ground ball second base. So Hop is out. Holmes is a batter with one down. 2-6 uh, against a righty. That's going to be a single. So the Braves have a man aboard, one on with one out. And Torgus in the batter. He gets a 2-3 against a righty. That's going to be a ground ball, first base C. That'll move him to second. There is a man 180 feet away with two down and Bob Elliott the batter. And that is a 4-5. He is a right-handed batter, and he gets a ground ball shortstop. So no runs for the Braves in the 17th. We go to the bottom of the 17th inning. And Eddie Waite kisses the batter. He gets a 3-10. I think that's going to be a single. Either way, really, either way, it's a single. So it is a single. Andy Pafko is up. No outs. Man at first. 311. That is going to be a ground ball first base C. Moves a man to within scoring position with one down. Phil Cavaretta comes up. He gets a 1 7, and that is going to be against a lefty. It'll be a walk. So there are two runners on, one out, runners at first and second, and Bill Nicholson is the batter, and he gets a 5 4. He is a left handed batter, and that is going to be a fly ball center field X. The center fielder for the Braves is um, a 2. And uh, that is a 16. So we'll see what that is. 16 2 is a fly ball A. All runners advance. There's two down. And Peanuts Lowry up. If he can, anything, anything, come on, something. 4 6, he is a righty. And that's going to be a strikeout. So no runs come in. We go to the top of the 18th. Top of the 18th with Phil Massey up. I think both teams have probably gone even gone through their benches already. So 5-6, he's a righty. That's going to be a ground ball shortstop. One away. Bomber Wowl gets a 4-4. Four, 4-4 four. Four, four is a ground ball third base X. Um, oh, wait a minute. Now, yeah, it is. It's still a ground ball third base X. Their third baseman is a 4. That's Lowry. That is a 15. 15 and 4 is a single. So that brings up Connie Ryan. Connie Ryan up, man on, one out, 6 5. He's a righty. That is going to be a fly ball B. And that brings up 
the main man, Dick Color. Dick Color getting a 2 2, and that is going to be a ground ball shortstop plus injury. But the injury is a 1, so he'll stay in the game. And, uh, and that is an out. And that's the end of that inning for the uh, Braves. We go to the bottom of the 18th inning. Bottom of the 18th. I almost don't have any more room to keep track of this. The Bob Sheffing man is going up against Elliot, who's been out there, it seems like, forever. And maybe it is true. But 5'8". Five, 5'8", eight. Five, eight, he is a righty. Um, and that is going to be a ground ball second base X. The second baseman for Boston is um, a 3, and that's a 12. So 12 and 3, note, we got to refer to his E rating. And um, let's see, that's Connie Ryan. Connie Ryan is an E24. We'll roll the dice. That is an 8 and an E24. And that is a ground ball A. And that brings up the, the um, pitcher. And the, the pitcher, let's see, for the Cubs. And that's Bill Lee. But Bill Lee is just going to bat. He's a three batter, and they're out of pinch hitters anyway. And 3-6 is a strikeout. So, no runs in the 18th. We go to the top of the 19th. And, uh, um, let's see. We'll go to the top of the 19th, so it's not chefing, it's Hop. Hop batting against Bill Lee, who just got in there anyway. Um, he is a lefty, and that's going to be a uh, walk. Man aboard, no outs. Tommy Holmes up, 311. 311 against a lefty is going to be a single to left field. Well, it's a ballpark single. Ballpark single for a left handed batter in Chicago is 1 to 16, so that is a single. And that brings up Earl Torgerson. Torgerson gets a 1-7. And man, did that break it out. That's going to be against a lefty. Wait a minute. Yeah, or no, against a righty. So that is a double. Double and a run scores. And uh, there's still no outs. And they're going to have to bring the infield in. Bob Elliott gets a 4-11. 4-11 righty is going to be a um, fly ball left field B. That's two runs in for the Braves. And Phil Massey is the batter. Gets a 6-6. Six, six. He's a righty. That is going to be a strikeout. So two runs mercifully come in for the Braves. So if the Cubs can't match that right here, the game will be over with the Braves winning in 19 innings. But let's see. They will take out Glenn Elliott because he's been out there forever and a day. And he's probably tired by now. And they're going to bring in Johnny Beasley. Johnny Beasley will be the new pitcher. Sheffing is the batter. That is a 5-6. He is a righty. And that's going to be a strikeout. Don Johnson comes up. That is a 6-4. Six, 6-4 four. Six, four is against a righty is going to be a ballpark single. He is a righty. So that is a 1-16 single. It is a single. Marulo comes up. Marulo gets a 6-8. He is a righty. And uh, that is going to be a walk. With the pitcher up, and one out. I think there's one out. Yeah, there is. There's one out. Pitcher up. Two runners on. They're going to sacrifice um, with Bill Lee. He is a sacrifice bunter C. That is a seven. 
Uh, seven is batter has thrown up a first baseman. Runners advance one base. So now they've got two runners in scoring position. They just need for Eddie Waitkiss to get a uh, get a hit. And that is a two five. And this is against a um, against a righty. And that's a single double asterisk and scores two runs. I can't believe it. Two run score and tie the game. And let's not forget, he's got a single, so he's on board. And then Pafco comes up. Pafco gets a 310. And uh, he, against a, against a righty, um, and that's going to be a foul out. And so that is the inning. But... They they score the two runs to tie the game, and in the in after 19 innings, we have a 2-2 tie between these two teams. All right, well we're back, and I'm giving you another angle here. Uh, we're in the 20th inning, in case you uh, were away or whatever it was that you were doing. We're in the 20th inning between. In a game between the 47, 1947 Braves and the 1947 Cubs. So the Braves are now batting in the top of the 20th. And uh, the pitchers that are currently out there are Johnny Beasley for Boston and Doyle Laid for the Cubs. So we will start off. Bomber Roll is the first batter in the... Um, in the Braves 20th and he gets a 6-7 he's a left-handed batter and that is going to be a ground ball second base X the Cubs second baseman is Don Johnson and he is a 4 so that is a 15 and a 15 and a 4 is a ground ball C so Raul goes four to three. Connie Ryan is up, one down. And uh, six nine um, is he's a right-handed batter. So that's going to be a well. That's a home run one to six. If he has if his power is normal. But it isn't versus a right-handed pitcher, so it's going to be a single. So Connie Ryan's aboard with a single. Dick Culler is up. He gets a 2-5, and that's going to be a ground ball shortstop A. And so that is it for the... That's it for Boston in the 20th inning. They get no runs. We go to the bottom of the 20th with Phil Cavaretta up. And he gets a 4-5, and that is going to be a, um, he's a left-handed batter. So that's going to be a strikeout. One away, and Bill Nicholson is up with one down. He gets a 1-7, and uh, against a left-handed pitcher, or wait a minute, a right, a right, against a right-handed pitcher, that's a walk. So Nicholson is aboard with a walk, and Peanuts Lowry comes up. He gets a 4-3. He is a right-handed batter, and that is going to be a fly ball right field X. The right fielder for Boston is a 3. That's uh, Tommy Holmes. And that is a 2. So that, I don't know, that doesn't, that doesn't look like that might be good. Um, it's a roll of two, and he is a three, and that's going to be a double with two asterisks. And now the Cubs are in business. One out, they could win this game right here with Bob Sheffing up. Bob Sheffing, of course, the uh, Braves are, of course, going to bring the infield in. And he gets a three six, and he is going up against a righty, and three six is going to be... 
be a single, and that's going to knock in the winning run. <laughs> and that's the game. 20 innings, and the, uh, the 47 Cubs have won this game by the score of 7-6 to six in 20 innings. And that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.